can't be self-centered. Can't be about you anymore. It's got to be Christ in you, loving everybody around you, obeying mom, obeying dad, and loving your brother, loving your sister. Okay? No more fussing. No more fighting. No more difficulties. Consider every other person that's more important than yourself. Now, here's what I like to do. When you come out, I'm going to go out first, and I would like for you to come out and meet me first, okay? And I'm going to ask you in front of them to give me your whole name, your Christian name. In other words, like for me, it would be Charles Michael Douglas. I want you to give me your whole name. I'm going to talk just a few minutes, maybe not even, maybe not even two minutes. And then I'm going to ask you, do you understand what we're about to do? Do you understand what it means? And is that what you want? You're ready to make that commitment in that profession right now. If you say yes, okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take your right hand, you know which one your right hand is? Take your right hand, put it on your nose, okay? Do it right now. Put your right hand on your nose. Now take your left hand and get a hold of your right arm. Okay, now, here's what I'm going to do when I baptize you. That's going to be my handle for you, okay? I'm going to hold, I, that's what I'm going to hold when I'm going to put you down, and I'm going to bring you back up, okay? Now, here's the thing that maybe nobody out here has ever seen before. Megan, when you come out, I'd like to be the one to baptize you. But after I baptized you, you're going to bring your husband in the water with you. And then it'll be your dad that baptizes you guys, okay? You can trust him. He'll get you down. He'll get you up. Now, do you know why I'm doing that? You know why we're doing it that way? You see, when you come to church, I'm the preacher. But when you go home, you know who your pastor is? It's your dad. When there's a decision to make, what are we going to do? What are we going to go? What are we going to give? How are we going to do? Your pastor's not the big boss and the know-it-all, but he is, a, he is the head of your family. So you're going to love and honor him even in a maybe different way after the day because now your dad's not just your dad, your dad's your pastor. And that's why I've asked him to come and do the baptism. Now I need to tell you something. I probably won't tell them this, but I ain't going to You need to pray for your dad. You see, your dad's not perfect. Your dad's made mistakes before, and he may make a mistake again. And even though he may not be perfect every single day of his life, he's always going to be your dad. He's always going to be the head of your house. And he's going to need prayer. Okay? Do that. I am so proud of you guys. Anybody got a question? Okay, your right hand on your nose. Hold it like that. I'm going to, that's going to be your handle. And your dad will drop you down and bring you back up. Okay? Okay. Let's go take all this stuff out of our pockets. I got my cell phone and my watch. Why not, Bobby?